Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Coding Dojo is a programming school that turns beginners into developers in only 14 weeks. If you're serious about landing a career in tech, but lack the formal education or background, Coding Dojo will get you there in no time. With over 3,000 graduates to date, over 90% of their grads land jobs within three months of graduating, often making over 70K per year at tech firms of all sizes, from companies like Google to local startups. To learn more, visit CodingDojo.com or click the link in the description below. So today I wanted to answer a question that I get a lot uh, about becoming a software developer. Uh, I did this video on how to become a software developer, which you can check out here. But I also get a lot of questions about uh, what kind of developer should I become. And in that first video, I talked about how you need to pick, right? You need to specialize and pick what kind of developer you want to become because if you don't, it's going to be really hard to aim towards a target that you don't know what it is. It's like I said, being an athlete. Like, I, I want to become an athlete. Well, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. You need to become a kind of an athlete, like a runner, uh, a, a, a football player, right? A swimmer, whatever it is, right? So, same thing here. So, let me, let me give you some advice on how you can determine what kind of developer should I become. So, here's, uh, here's the first thing, okay? So, the, the first thing I would say about this is, is, like I said in the other video, look at job search sites and, and look and see what kind of developers are out there. Right? It's good to have a good resource of the kinds of developers that are out there. And, and, and think about it on your own. Right? So do you want to do web development? Do you want to work on what kind of things do you want to work on? Right? And, there, and there's different roles. You don't have to know exactly what the role is, but just think about what it is that you'd like to do. Right? So would you like to make web pages? Okay. Uh, would you like to maybe make mobile applications? Okay. Maybe would you like to make the kind of code or, or build things that, that go like go in hardware it themselves, right? The software that runs the hardware, like computers or monitors or you know electronics, right? Or cameras, right? There's all software running in everything today. Would you like to do that? That's sort of embedded systems development for the most part. Would you perhaps like to do something really interesting, right? Like maybe, uh, you know, there's a lot in data science and there's a lot of things in artificial intelligence. So maybe you would like to make self driving cars or to create intelligent applications or platforms that are able to solve problems or, you know, or, or interact with the real world, right? So robotics, right? There's a lot of artificial intelligence and robotics that, that you could be doing. And then well, maybe you want to send astronauts into space and, and help them to land on the moon, right? In the next moon mission, right? So think about these things. Like what is it that you'd like to do? Maybe you'd like to make medical devices and help people to, uh, in the medical field, right? To, to be able to prolong people's lives and save lives. Or maybe you'd like to work in the fitness field and you'd like to create devices devices like you know like the Apple Watch or the Fitbit or, or things like that that help people to monitor their health right so you think about what these things are right and then or maybe maybe you just want to work inside of a, a corporate development shop and make software that people love right maybe you want to make video games I mean most of us want to make video games I want to make fucking video games let's make some damn video games but maybe that's what you want to do okay so think about this I want you to sit down and and stop saying I want to be a software developer I want to be a programmer I want to make money because <laughs> that's not good. That's not a motivation, right? You got to you got to be more focused on that. You can still want to make money. Who doesn't want to make money, right? But uh, but you got to like think about what how you're going to do it, right? You're going to do it if you want. And I'll give you a little bit of a, of, of a secret, a little shortcut here, just in general, okay? Which is if you want to make money in the world, you got to provide value to people. So what's the value you're going to provide, and how are you going to enjoy creating that value? Because if you're going to be creating value, you better fucking enjoy it. Otherwise, it's going to be a long slog. I mean, it's still going to be a long slog. Don't get me wrong. It's a grind. Life is a fucking grind, and you got to grind it out. You got to be able to do the hard work. But it's going to be a lot more easy to do that if you know the why. And you know what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, these are the important things. So I want you to brainstorm. I want you to think about all the kind of things, all the kind of things that you might want to do, and the technologies out there. What's interesting to you, right? What excites you? For me, like I said, when I was starting out, I was excited about making games. I wanted to. I liked playing muds, and I, I was excited about that. And then I, at one point, you know, I got interested in, in printers. I happened to get a job working at HP. 
And I was really interested to know how do these printers work. I thought it was kind of cool, like how the timing of the paper going through this machine and and on all everything that that works to 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 make that image actually appear on the paper and to print it and at the right timing and everything. How does that all work? So I was really interested in that. And what what languages do printers use? The printer languages, you know, PostScript and PCL and stuff like that. That you might not be interested in at all, but it was interesting to me at at one point, right? So and then I've gotten interested in mobile development, right? So there's a lot of different things that you can you can do and become but you got to think about you know you start from what might be interesting to you now the other thing that you could do here uh, that I'd recommend is talk to people right that are developers right and, and there's I mean there's a lot of roles that you might not even think about right because you know one interesting role that maybe no one dreams of but is really actually I enjoyed quite a bit is working on a team creating tools for other developers to use or for the team to use right I mean it's not a, a a very high profile position. You're not creating software that gets distributed out there in the world, but it's kind of fun and kind of cool to make stuff that makes other people's jobs easier. So in a lot of corporate jobs, that role exists. And it's it's honestly some of the most fun I've had is like figuring out how I can make teams more efficient by making tools for them. Uh, a lot of game development shops have positions where, in fact, that's a lot of the way to get in your foot in the door sometimes is to be a tools developer first, which is it sounds like something that wouldn't be very fun, but go talk to someone who is a tools developer, right? See what that's like. You know, go talk to developers developers that you know and ask them, what do you do in your job? What kind of development do you do, right? What kind of technologies do you use? So, so then you can start to, you can get to that second layer, right? So if you, if you know kind of the broad level, I want to make web applications, I want to make mobile applications, I want to do game development, whatever it is, then you can start finding people that do those things, right? You know, like self-driving cars. A lot of people email me today and say, hey, John, I want to do AI. <laughs> and I'm like, what what does that mean? <laughs> like, do you want to make fucking robots, like death machines, that are like the next uh, like robotic army, so we don't have human fight battles? Do you want to make self-driving cars? Do you want to make refrigerators that automatically like know who you are and like lock you out because they're like you're too fat, John. Sorry, you can't have you can. I'm only opening my vegetable drawer for you, John. Right? You know what do you want to do? <laughs> it's not just AI, right? So again. You start there, and then once you have an idea of that, then go and talk to developers that are doing those things, right? And most of them are happy to talk to you about what they're doing, especially if they're passionate about their job, and ask them, say, hey, well, what kind of technologies? What do I need to learn, right? You know, if I were to follow you around for a day, I mean, you can ask them. Can I can I like come in and follow you around for a day, right? You know, they were say, well, maybe I get to get permission from my boss, but that's a kind of a cool thing, right? I mean, you could probably get permission as a guest to do that. Like, think outside the box, right? How can you learn what it is that you need to know in order to be that? And also just to see if that's something you're interested in, right? So you talk to a bunch of developers and you get this information. I would probably do that. And then you find out, okay, what technologies do they use? What do I need to learn? How, what kind of steps would I take to, to get there? And, you know, that's that's how you're going to, you're going to figure this stuff out. You know, some other questions you might ask yourself, right? And, and I'll tell you this, the quality of the answer you get is determinant by the quality of the question you ask. So if you ask good questions, you get good answers. So ask some good questions. You know, like I said, ask that question of of what am I interested in technology-wise, right? What do I want to do in the world? What kind of industry might I want to work in? Where do what do I want to impact people, right? Do I like what what inspires me? Do I want to impact people's lives? Do I care about? Do I want to work on backend stuff? Do I love solving problems and algorithms, right? A backend developer does a lot of this, right? So ask yourself these questions and then ask some, ask some questions like, what kind of environment do I want to work in, right? Do I want to work in a cubicle? Do I want to work at home working for myself, right? Do I want to work with a, a lot of people? Do I want to work crazy hours? Do I want to work more of a relaxing job, right? Do I want to work with the latest and greatest technologies, right? Or do I want to work with like the stable and mature technologies, right? And so Think about those things because that's going to influence what kind of developer you become and what kind of company that you're eventually going to want to work for, right? Big corporations usually are a little bit slower to adapt technologies where small startups, they're on the bleeding edge, right? And they're using the new tools and technology and stuff like that. So think about these things, okay? And um, and ask yourself these, these questions, right? And, and again, you don't have to have perfect answers for this, right? But you got to have some kind of answer, right? Don't be, you know, I was just watching this movie someone recommended on this a channel called Whiplash. Okay, maybe I'll put a link to the Amazon rental here for Whiplash. But 
it's funny, there's a conversation, this, this boy and this girl, you know, they're on a date, and he asks her, and he, like, he knows what he wants to be, he wants to be a fucking drummer, he wants to be the best fucking drummer in the world, and he's, like, asking her, like, you know, why'd you go to this college, and she's like, oh, yeah, I, I don't know, like, and he asked her, what is her major, and she's like, I don't really have one yet, I, I don't know, and he's like, well, what do you want to do with your life, and she's like, I'm kind of undecided, I don't know at this point, and, and you can tell he's, like, visibly, like, he's, like, ready to jump out of his skin, because he's like, how could you not fucking know, right? And so don't be that girl with, that doesn't know the major. Like, pick something, okay? And you can change it later. My career has taken many different paths in life. I didn't never think that I would be doing YouTube videos essentially for a living. Like, that I'd be coaching people and, and giving them life advice. But that's what I fucking do, right? So I change it, right? I was a, I was a programmer and, and now I'm not, okay? But you can change it later, but you gotta have a definite direction. You're like, get somewhere Okay, it's, it's better to get somewhere and then go a different direction on your path in life than to just be wandering aimlessly, floating in the ocean of possibility. Fucking choose a thing, go and do it, and then when you, when you get there, if you want to go somewhere else, go somewhere else. But at least you'll live a life of, that, that has punctuated points of success, triumph, failures, uh, that, the, uh, passion, right, of, of actual living rather than just floating around and, and hoping for the perfect thing. And then, and then when you find out that, when you go finally do go on that path and you find out it's not all that it's meant to be, you've wasted so many years. And, and you feel like you've made a permanent decision in your life. Better be the person that picks path, goes down that path, sees what's there, and if they don't like it, then fine. They pick another path and they go down that path, but you gotta start walking paths. So you, you hear what I'm saying? All right, I hope this is helpful to you again. A lot of this information, a lot more information is in my book, The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. I definitely encourage you to pick up a copy. It's on Amazon. We'll put links here, put links in the description below. And it's got a whole section on becoming a software developer and how to get started. And it answers a lot of the questions that you might have around that. All right, that's all I got for you today. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any videos. See you later.